and good morning everybody it is allison and joey welcome back to the channel today is such a special vlog because we are going to chantilly chantilly which i guess is a card show yes. <laughs> so uh, joey and i will be going to that because he has been working his butt off for the past couple of thank you, thank you. months hold on let me switch the camera oh, i've been making these different like cut signature cards Look at those. So I'm gonna get, try to get them authenticated. And those are real autographs from the real people. So Joey made these, the cards around the autograph. Aren't they just so beautiful? Yeah. You have such great attention to detail. Look at this one. Aren't they crazy? I'm excited. I'm very them. excited. Yeah, like here, so. so that's where we are heading. We made some smoothies for the yeah. morning. How fun. So it's about 10 o'clock this morning and we are gonna head off to our two hour journey to Northern Virginia. Bye. See you guys. I was on a plane to California. I had all the time I'd ever need. Did you even know I was looking for you? I think that I was hiding in between. Okay, you guys, we just finished having Chick-fil-A. We have made it to Chantilly, I think? Yep, Chantilly. Yeah. Chantilly, Northern Virginia. So we are gonna go into this card convention that yep. Joey is just so excited about, and I'm just along for the ride. So I don't know how much filming I will get done in there. Joey wants me to take some clips for him, so mm -hmm. I'll be doing that for him, but we are here, we made it, we are fueled, and we are ready to go. Looking for football cards, and I'm dropping off a bunch of my historical cards, so. Oh yeah, his, we showed you some of those this morning and they were really cool. So, gonna be doing that today. So, let's go ahead and get started. See you guys. Okay, you guys, I made it back to the car. I lasted about 45 minutes in there. I guess I just was not expecting how crowded it, crowded it was going to be. I have really bad social anxiety. Um, well, I'm actually like medicated for it, so I thought I would be okay, but I went in there for about 45 minutes. It was just packed full of these, full of these guys with all their sports mobilia or sports memorabilia, but so I said, Joey, please go in there, have the time of your life, but I'm gonna have to sit in the car for a little bit. I actually hid in the bathroom for a little bit. Um, so came out here to get some fresh air, to get some water, just to take a breather, step back from all the other people inside of there. Um, it was very fascinating though, it was very cool, but something I definitely needed to take a step back from. So Joey's so sweet. He said he'll drop me off at the hotel so he can, so I can go take a nap or something. But I'm just, I just feel bad because we drove all the way over here for, for Joey, and I feel like I couldn't even support him in the moment, but but he knows. He knows I'm like this, so he's very, very sweet, but he's about to call me, so I'll let you guys go, and uh, we'll see what happens next. And just a side note for you guys, I actually got my test back that I was really freaking out about this past Friday. It is now Saturday, and I got my test um, back already, and I got a 97 on it, so... I'm so pleased. That was such good news that I needed. So 
we are rocking and rolling into the weekend with a good attitude and just positive vibes. So we're going to keep those vibes going for the remainder of the weekend. I'm really excited to spend this time with Joey. I'm so bummed that I got a little, had a little panic attack in this big old conference, but you know, he understands and he allows me to kind of calm down at my own pace. So very thankful for him. But in the meantime, we're going to hang out, probably watch some watch some Netflix on my phone and just kind of wait for Joey to have some fun. So I will see you guys again. Um, whatever happens next. Hello, you guys. We made it back to the hotel. Well, Joey dropped me off. He's about to go back to the show. I told him that I wasn't feeling well from it. It's boring in there. It was for her. Like it's very it's packed. Cars, sports cars and stuff. I was almost getting bored and I like sports cars. <laughs> so Joey was very sweet and he dropped me off at the, um, what is this? Uh, hotel. Yep. Yeah. And it's so cool, it has a big old fridge. I'll have to give you guys a full tour, but he's about to go back to the show and we're gonna hang out and we're gonna have a good time. See you guys. How cute is this little apartment? Joey's dad actually reserved it for us. He was so sweet to do that. So here's a little kitchen. I've never had a hotel room with a kitchen, so that's pretty cute. Um, nice table, another table, I guess that's a desk, and then I guess a little living room area, it's Joey and I's luggage, nice lamp, TV, and the bed, around the corner here is the bathroom, pretty standard, super cool, what a neat little spot. So I'll be hanging out here and Joey will come back later. But in the meantime, I think I'm just gonna watch some Netflix. Netflix and chill. <laughs> hello, hello you guys. It is now dinner time. Joey came back from the show. It was so funny because I was knocked out. I took a medication to help my anxiety and it totally knocked me out. And I had this thing closed when Joey was gone and he came back and he was trying to text me and call me where I was truly just knocked out and when he was opening the door this thing was locked so he couldn't get in and he was just in the crack going Allison Allison it was very silly but let me show you guys what Joey picked up for dinner we went to what is this called? Rooster? Roaming Rooster. Roaming Rooster. It's kind of just, it gives us the vibes of Five Guys with chicken. So how fun. We'll do a little unboxing. So it's definitely giving Five Guys vibes. I just got some chicken tenders and a bunch of fries, but these are huge. So Joey got fries too. I don't know if we will finish those. And then he got this yummy, yummy chicken sandwich bunch of sauces and we both got milkshakes how fun yum 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 so we're hungry we're gonna eat this real quick and we'll check in with you guys in a minute Good morning, good morning you guys. It is 11.52 here in Northern Virginia. That is where Joey and I took our road trip to and we knocked out. And I just think that speaks volume to how exhausted we were from the previous week. We had so many assignments and tests and presentations that we had to get done this previous week. So we definitely enjoyed spending the time in the hotel because we really just slept the whole time but looks like joey's trying to get back into the hotel but all we're gonna do today is we're gonna drive back home but we're gonna hit up this really cool museum with them all right just had to let joey in because he got locked out because <laughs> checkout is at about eight minutes and we gotta get going but for the most part we're ready just gotta pack up my bag real quick and then we're gonna head to this really cool museum um with all of these it's like, is it a space museum or like yeah, a, a space museum for air, 
Oh. Um, a bunch of different stuff that we spent got first from like the Vietnam War, then the shuttle, I think it's Endeavour that the oh, cool. ride on. People were getting a lot of cool things. Cold flames and he's wearing his little NASA sweatshirt. It's super cute. So I'm gonna wear a sweatshirt today as well and we're gonna get started on going to the Air and Space Museum. Hopefully I can take some really cool footage. Hopefully it's not too crowded, but we will see you guys when we get there. See ya. made it to the National Air and Space Museum here in Chantilly, Virginia. It is a part of the Smithsonian, so if you guys are coming to Washington, D.C. or just taking a trip up into Northern Virginia, I definitely suggest coming to this guy. I have never been to this museum. Joey has been to this museum, so I'm very thankful that he um, recommended it to us while we were up here because I was... I was blown away by all of the exhibits that were presented at this museum as well as all of the machinery and aircrafts and aviations just literally hanging above my head. It was incredible. So they had exhibits on human spaceflight and satellites and again space science in all of these really cool planes from commercial aviation to aviations from wars like Cold War, Korea and Vietnam Wars, World War I and World War II. They had um, more modern military aviation, I would say, or the aviation that I am used to. My dad is actually in the Navy and he <laughs> flew jets a lot. <laughs> so growing up, I saw jets all the time and I lived on Navy bases and military bases, so I was just always surrounded by the noises of jets. And so I really think it's fascinating coming to museums like this because it's just, it's just how I grew up and I see all of this all the time. So it was really cool to see, um, see a museum and just, you know, think about my dad and say, you know, he, he flies one of those things, you know, or he used to, but it was really cool. Again, I'm very thankful for the experience. We had such a good time. And um, yeah, if you guys are in the area, I definitely suggest checking it out.
Okay, you guys, we are leaving the Air and Space Museum. It was so, so cool. Really good time. And very educational. Mm -hmm. um, it's really nice outside. I kind of stay in there, but super cool. Um, Joey and I got a lot of pictures and a lot of videos, so I can't wait to share them with you guys. But now we're going to start our long journey home. It's about, what, two hours? Yeah, two hours. Two hours, but it was just really cool. We saw a lot of jets and stuff, and I grew up around all that because my dad's in the military, but... And then Joey's in NASA. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to do all that fun stuff, but I'll have to insert some pictures um, that we took today because we took a picture with Discovery. Yeah. <laughs> we took a picture with the Discovery Second shuttle. shuttle. But so Atlantis at Kenny Space. I'm Atlantis. Gonna go watch that video. If you didn't, go check it out. It's pretty cool. We didn't make a video for oh, that one. <laughs> how much I know. We didn't make a video for that because <laughs> we weren't on YouTube yet. But we'll have to. In, we have to insert some pictures from when we were at. We were actually at NASA and then the Smithsonian. So thank you guys for hanging out with us. We're gonna start our road trip back home. See you guys. Okay, you guys. Change of plans, like always. Joey and I were on the way home. But then we skirted off the exit because we were going to the Manassas battlefield. Um, so we'll vlog a little bit of that and then we'll finally be home. But I'm really excited he's been here before, but I have never. So let's go check it out. guys we made it to Manassas National Battlefield Park which is located in Manassas Virginia and it is the home of two major American Civil War battles so on this particular day it was incredibly windy but it was beautiful the skies were clear maybe one or two clouds but there were limited people there so we really just got to take in all of the history that this site had to offer and really just um, read and learn about all of the history that had gone on here. Again, Joey has been here before and I have not, so it was definitely interesting to hear you know, what he had to say from his previous experiences to now, but it was, it was a really cool experience. So if you guys are again in the area, I suggest hitting the sky up as well. Okay, you guys, Joey and I are officially done with the battlefield and the Air and Space Museum and our overall trip here in Northern Virginia, but we are going to head back home. Joey's going to the bathroom real quick, and we will start our journey again to, uh, or back to the University of Virginia. But before, or last night, Joey got us some snacks, so he got some chips and some Dr. Peppers because I'm the biggest fan of Dr. Pepper. Funny story, the barbecue store that we went to 
prior to all these museums had Dr. Pepper on the soda fountain, so I got some and after a few tastes of it, I said, this is totally Mr. Pibb. Oh my gosh, you know you have a problem when you can differentiate between a Dr. Pepper and a Mr. Pibb, but so silly. But either way, Joey and I are on the way home now, uh, just waiting for him to get back. We will see you, unless again, I pop on here and say, just kidding, we're going to, you know, some other thing. <laughs> but now it's getting pretty late, so we should get home. Alright you guys, surprise, surprise, Joey and I actually ended up stopping at Target on the way home. This is just because Target is so far away from my house that it was actually on the way back. So we decided to stop at Target, pick ourselves up a face mask because we just love doing those and it was Sunday so we just wanted to reset and recharge from our vacation. And of course you can't go to Target without looking around. So I wanted to look at all of the Easter baking supplies, see if I wanted to pick up anything. I was also on the hunt, just a mental hunt for the, um, what are they called? Stanley Cups, because I hear Stanley Cups are very popular and I've never had one before. So if you've, and I heard that they started selling them at Target. So if you guys know where they are in Target, I, we were truly on the hunt to see if we could find them, but we just couldn't. I know you can order them online or go to a sports, um, kind of a sports store, but we, we made it a mission to find them, but ultimately we failed. Otherwise, I thought this bin was really cool for my guest bedroom. Maybe we'll go back. And because I am doing a guest bedroom to office makeover in my second bedroom, I just kept looking at all of the fun office supplies here at Target. But that's a shopping trip for another day. I just kind of wanted to look at all the fun things. And speaking of fun things, the towels, the beach towels came out and I wanted to look at them. But truthfully, I kind of just go to Home Goods and get towels because they have they have some pretty solid options there when they when they put out their selection but otherwise that was the trip with Joey and I this weekend I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today we ended up going home ordering a pizza and just spending the rest of the day watching love is blind on Netflix if you guys watch that show I cannot wait to hear your guys' opinions on it because I have many so does Joey don't let him think don't don't let him uh, let you think otherwise because he is definitely into the show as much as I am but again thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and we will see you guys in the next video bye guys